friends. This week, I want to give you a quick rundown, a quick tutorial in terms of how we wrap and pack our bridal bouquets. I did a YouTube video 18 months ago, and I know it's one of the most popular topics, and it's a question that I had for the longest period of time. We have made a couple of tweaks since I did that video, so I just wanted to show you what we do because I'm in love with the way that we wrap and pack these days. I will leave a checklist below so you know exactly what you're going to need. And I will provide links to where we get things in Australia so that if you're overseas, you can find something equivalent. But the short list of what you will need is a few pieces of just paper towel. We have three sheets of tissue here. In Australia, it's referred to as white non-woven. It's heavier than like the normal tissue paper, but it's not like the fanciest tissue on the planet. So you can always be upgrading if you want. And then just a plain white box. So in Australia, these are referred to as the large boxes. They're the boxes that you would traditionally make box arrangements in. So you can use the packaging, like the box and the tissue that best represents your business and the brands that you want to be putting out into the world. Packaging is all part of this whole service that we're providing. We now use cylinder 12 by 12 vases. And obviously this is quite short, but it's because the stems of our handle of our bouquets is quite short. So you can see how these two things kind of magically work together. And I have a little bit of sticky tape. And that's kind of it. If you do include any sort of like branding, any written cards or anything with your bridal bouquets, don't forget to include that as well. One of the things that's really important to remember as well is that all of your sundries and all of your packaging needs to be accounted for within your wholesale budget for your designs. I'll give you a rundown in terms of how much things cost, but I'll always account for $10 wholesale just for hard goods and sundries. And that's all based on the way that we package. Don't forget to adjust that pricing based on how you want to package your designs. So the reason that we've switched away from the plastic takeaway containers to the cylinder 12 by 12 vases, is two reasons. One, these are a bit more obviously sustainable, not having to incorporate more plastic. But the other thing is that these I find easier to use and to see how much water to put in so that you're less likely to get water sticking to the ribbon. And as soon as the water touches the ribbon, it's just going to wick up all the water that's in the container. So then you're going to end up with like soaked ribbon. So you do need to do your best to try and not allow the ribbon to touch the actual water. If you're going to be passing down like really bumpy roads, or if the travel distance is really far, think about ribboning closer to the location. Nobody says you have to ribbon when you're leaving your studio. You can do the ribboning in the back of your car. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> this also will account for this in our wholesale budget and allow our clients to keep the vases. So the way that we'll actually deliver everything and pack everything is that then we'll take the vase out of this box and we'll take the boxes back with us so we can reuse them again, but we'll take the boxes and then she's left with a beautifully wrapped bouquet that sits in water. So if they're also then traveling from where they're getting ready, to the venue, they can leave it in water for a little bit longer. So here's my bouquet, right? Here's my container. What you're going to do, is you're gonna take your tissue and you're gonna fold it like kerchief style so that it's got little extra corners on it. Then you wrap your bouquet right around where the ribbons are, right? You, want, you do wanna leave the stems exposed a little bit. And I will use three sheets for the bride and then two for the maids. And one of the things that I love about this wrapping is that A, it makes the flowers look beautiful, right? Seeing them on a white backdrop just makes flowers really pop. The other thing is you know that it gives that layer of protection for the flowers, right? So they can kind of jostle a little bit in the car and you're not gonna like freak out. Super helpful. <laughs> then you have your cylinder 12 by 12 vase. This goes in here. And I'd say you could probably add just like a smidge of a bit more water, but you can see that there's a good distance between the ribbon and the stems. You will definitely notice that this anemone is quite brown, right? This was from an intentional practice session that I've done for you guys. You can use older flowers, right? Because you're not using it to sell to somebody. <laughs> then you've got your box. There are numbers on the bottom. You need to follow the numbers. 
So one, two, three, and then four. And sticky tape in the bottom. Make sure it sits flat. And then I do fold down the sides and then it's as easy as placing the vase and you're wrapping and make the ribbons look just so. And this is what you arrive on her doorstep with. So you don't need to attach the cylinder vase to anything in the bottom of the box because it's heavy enough, it'll just stay. And with the bulk of the tissue, it doesn't, does not move around unless you're driving like a maniac, which is also possible. And flat bottom, right? If you're doing like six or seven bouquets or like two or three bouquets, you can tuck these boxes quite close to each other. They can just go like on a flat back, sit a towel down, a flat back of a station wagon, your SUV, your actual delivery van, mom's car, whatever it is that you're doing, right? This way easier to transport than anything I've ever found. Please feel free to steal this approach. It works wonders. <laughs> So my friends, I hope that this tutorial is helpful. Don't forget, if you know anybody who could benefit from watching this mini training, definitely share this with them. And my friends, don't forget to hit subscribe and like and have a beautiful week. And I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.